Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Software Tester. We are in chapter 1 and continuing with the last topic of this chapter that is 1.4, the contribution or participation of the testers in the release process of an automotive project. When it comes to the contribution or participation of a tester in a release process, they play a very vital role in order to contribute to the overall project success by making sure that all the necessary deliverables is delivered and also making sure that they enhance the product from time to time by again contributing with innovative ideas in order to add more value to the projects and its use. So in the automotive environment, a project reaches a milestone by declaring a release and after seeing the evidences decides that the goals are reached or not. So that generally happens in other projects as a exit criteria. So exit criteria and the coverage measurements will tell you if the project can be pushed for the release or not. From this moment on, the release items meets the level of maturity needed for its use and the purpose. So further enhancements can be done or optimization can be enabled on the same. The release process is expected to lead to the release of the release item. The release item generally consists of the test items including the software configurations or if necessary also the hardware and mechanics as a part of it. So not only the software but sometimes the integrated embedded systems can also be a part of the release item. And additionally the supporting documents in order to understand and see that what testing has been performed so far and what kind of, what kind of quality has been enhanced while doing the testing of this particular product. So the tester delivers important information for the release process via the final test report. The, where the test report can include the tested items and the performance characteristics including their specific version, known defects, product matrices, information for release recommendations based on the release regulations. Which generally means that what kind of recommendations do you have from the point of standards and the regulations which we are supposed to be met in order to deploy this product as a part of an automobile. Additionally, the tester participates in creating further deliverable results relevant for the release. For example, prioritizing and participate in the decision regarding the changes if necessary. If you have any such, you will definitely contribute from the point of recommending to the organization that what best can be done any further. And also, prioritizing features for the order of the implementations. So yes, prioritizing, contributing in order to understand that which feature should be developed first at the earliest and then what next can happen in the right sequence of the schedule. So this is what mainly a contribution of the tester will be from the release process point of view. But yes, that's not all. We'll be getting into the detail of the exact contribution of the tester in the upcoming chapters. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be always there to answer your queries very well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the contest. We'll see you with the sample questions of this chapter in the next tutorial. Take care, team, and happy learning.